Hi, and welcome back to Thursdays. Um, today's video isn't directed so much at polyglots themselves, but at, at friends of polyglots, so for the winter holidays I decided I'd make a video about what people could potentially buy for their friends who are polyglots or who are dedicated to learning a language. So, first thing, um, I think possibly most obvious is books, dictionaries, if someone's learning French, buy them a nice big French dictionary. Or, um, you could also buy books that are just translated into that language or that come from that country. So, I always think that Harry Potter is a good idea, especially since it's in so many languages and pretty much everybody knows what happens in it. So, you, it's, it's easier to read and to be able to get information out of it if you're learning that language. Um, but other books as well that either the person really likes or just anything you think they might enjoy. Um, also, a really good idea is a region-free DVD player, because what sucks about going to other countries and wanting to buy movies is that a lot of times they're in another region. Um, so you can't play those movies, there's no point to buying them. But with a region-free DVD player, you can play all the movies that you buy in other countries, and it's so amazing. I love that so much. And so, along with that, you could buy DVDs from Europe or from China um, if you buy a region-free DVD player along with it, um, which is also really cool. Uh, but, but besides that, you could also get... it. I mean, things don't necessarily have to be with the language. It could also be in relation to the culture. So, for example, if someone is studying Chinese, it would be a good idea to possibly give them a calligraphy pen so that they can write all their characters in a really pretty way and whatnot. Um, decorations are, all, are also really awesome, especially if you have gone to another country or you're going to another country on vacation. It's, also, it's always really awesome to buy things like, for example, This, which I got from my Chinese exchange student, the character is Fu, and it means like good fortune. And it's something cultural because I know that uh, Chinese people like to put that symbol as like sort of like decoration on the wall, um, and that's just as important as the language as well. So things like that, you know, again for Chinese, you could buy like really pretty authentic chopsticks um, things like that the only thing I wouldn't suggest would be Rosetta Stone because there's nothing wrong with it inherently it's just that it tends to be extremely expensive and for that price you could get a lot more things that give more information than the program itself so it doesn't seem to be like a fair trade of money in my opinion but other than that, um, I think it really depends on the person that you're getting the gift for. So just kind of go off of what they like um, in terms of languages and in terms of non-languages. They have a favorite book or whatever, you can get them that in another language. So, yeah. See you next week.